Hello and welcome to another episode of Trash to Track. In this episode we're going to be looking at this Hornby HST power car that's been sent in to me by a chap called Ewan, who says it stopped running. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a, uh, a dust off here, there's a little bit of dust on it. Now these power cars are not the um, high-end power cars, these are the X Lima moulding and I believe these are from a Great Western Railways train set. So I've got both the power and the dummy car here. And as Ewan said they don't work, let's give these a quick battery test and see what's occurring. Putting the local on the track and applying power from the battery shows that the headlights are actually working, but the motor isn't working at all. Now as you can see there, the headlights are on, and bizarrely, when I don't drop the battery, the headlights are showing no matter what polarity is going through the track. So I'm going to have a look at the dummy car and see if this has got any headlights in it. And when I apply the battery, to my surprise, there's nothing on this car at all. No lights or anything. So we'll have a look at this later on. To remove the body shell from these power cars, you have to remove these two screws. Um, one uh, just inside of, the, inside of each bogey there. And then there's a clip at the back which you have to undo gently using a small flat bladed screwdriver. Once you've undone the clip at the back, the chassis just pulls away and you have to disengage the front cowling. And here you can see the redesigned chassis with the new motor and the DCC interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these pliers here to pop this clip down, which releases the motor bogey at the rear of the power car. And once that's down, there's enough play in the wires to pull the motor bogey through. And as I suspected, one of the wires has come adrift from the motor terminals. Now the reason I've done this as a trash to track is I've had several of these power cars come into me like this and this is a very common fault. So if you have a Lima, sorry, if you have a Hornby X Lima power car in these great western colours and it stops running, it's always wise to check these wires as they do come adrift very often. This model is also missing both of its traction tyres so we're going to have to find some replacements for those later on. Before we crack on with the um, the power car I'm just going to take the body off this dummy car to have a look inside as it intrigues me that there are no lights on this and to my utmost surprise when I actually get the body off the chassis is barren and completely lifeless of any wiring or lighting at all this is extremely poor in my opinion from Hornby this is a modern train set that is, you can still buy from the train shops Hornby's 1970s and 1980s HSTs had directional lighting to have a HST for this sort of price tag in this day and age with no lights in the dummy car is absolutely appalling on Hornby's part. If they could do it in 1979 when they released the blue and grey one, why can't they do it today? Back to the power car, and I'm just going to reattach this wire here with my soldering iron. So I just tin the end there with a small bit of solder. And then with the help of my long nose pliers, I'm just going to hold the wire in place and reattach the solder joint to the motor terminal. Once the wire has been reattached, I slide down a small piece of heat shrink tubing just to cover the soldered joint. And then I'm going to give it a quick battery test to see if this was indeed the only thing stopping this HST from running properly. Although not having any traction tyres would have made it an extremely lumpy runner. So as I said before, we're going to have a look at replacing those. Now that that wire is in place, as I said, I'm going to slide this heat shrink tubing down. And the solder joint that I've done is a far superior to one than that of the Chinese factory. Putting a battery on the front wheels there, you can see, well, hopefully you can see the wheels are turning around on the motor bogey. And that confirms that the only thing wrong electrically with this HST was that loose wire. Now that I've um, done that, I'm going to just push the motor bogey back into place and pull the wires through and that is this fixed for now but I'm going to just use my tweezer nose pliers just to remove this bogey frame on this power bogey at the back here just to unclip it and I'm going to give the pickups and wheels a good clean up and I'm also going to re-lubricate the drivetrain another thing that's disappointing about this model is these wheels are just clipped in this plastic frame there's no proper bearings on this whatsoever it looks like a good model, but it is very cheaply and poorly made. To clean the wheels, I use my usual method. I polish the wheel treads and the wheel backs with a fiberglass pencil. 
working over a uh, cloth so I don't get any of the fibres on my desk. And then I clean the wheel backs and any old grease and grime off it with a cotton bud that's been dipped in methylated spirits. This brings the wheels up to a nice shine and gets any of the crud and dirt off them that has built up over the days it's been running on Ewan's layout. I'm just cleaning all the crap off the uh, wheels there. Also, while the wheels are out, as I said, I'm going to clean these uh, pickups to get any fluff and detritus off the pickups so that everything is clean and ensuring that it is good. It has got good electrical conductivity. There you can see a load of old uh, carpet fibres or hair that had been wrapped around that pickup. Using a cocktail stick, I'm going to apply a small amount of grease to the drivetrain just to ensure that it's probably lubricated now that I've removed some of the old stuff with the cotton bud. And then holding the um, pickups in place with a pair of um, needle nose pliers and my fingers to make sure that they are correctly behind the wheels when I push them back in. The wheels are simply clip fitted back into the uh, plastic chassis. It really is bad that there aren't any proper bearings on this model. Here's some traction tyres that I've obtained um, for X Lima models from Hornby. And I'm going to put these in place on the wheels by just, my method is I put them on my needle nose pliers like that, slip one end over the bottom of the wheel and then just pull them up like that. And then the traction tyres in place, just making sure that it is in line correctly and is not twisted during application. The traction tyred wheels, um, I've got pickups and I've heard a lot of people complain about this, but as you'll see here, traction tyred wheels on modern stock does they do pick up quite a lot of electricity and they are well worthwhile in my opinion. The bogey frame there just needs a simple dust over. It's not too bad uh, dirt wise so I'm just going to give it a dust over with the old paintbrush. And then I'm going to clip this back into place and ensure that all the clips are lined up and then push it home with a satisfying snap. Now that is the chassis on this HST virtually done now. There's not much else left to do. One thing I am going to do is I'm just going to clean the front pickup wheels here. As you'll see with this cotton bud, there is quite a lot of dirt build up on these. I didn't feel the need to take the chassis keeper plate off as they were easily cleaned by rotating them with my finger. I didn't need to take them out of the model itself. Some of the more harder on carbon bits were scraped off with my fiberglass pencil. Now, as you'll see, when I, you'll see the lights light up, every single wheel is picking up on this HST and the motor is turning nicely. I'm just going to rearrange the wires there and it's time to refit the chassis to the body shell and it's a simple case of pushing the front there into the um, front of the HST and then clipping it back in place with that rear clip and then reinserting the front um, screws. A battery test here, it is a little bit jolty going backwards but it runs fine forwards and that was because I had put a DCC chip in it just to give it a spin on the garden railway. If you've got an engine you'd like to see featured on a future episode of Trash to Track, please email me at dansmodelrailways at gmail.com and we'll have a look getting it sent over and repaired and it might feature in its own episode all of its own. This pair of HST power cars is running quite nicely around the layout now, so I'm going to get them boxed up and sent back to Ewan so he can play with them on his own layout. As I said before, it is very disappointing that this model doesn't have directional lighting in both power cars, and even under DCC, the lights in the power car stay on, no matter what the direction. That is pretty poor design on Hornby's part, in my opinion. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.